20-something years old. My mom was a nurse and she the one got me into this and I found out that this was a part of my passion and not just with caregiver for the elderly but a, a servant heart. I just have a servant heart to serve. So however, I mean, I've been doing this like I said over 25 plus years. I'm maybe a little short but about 30 but however, I enjoy doing what I do. I enjoy taking care of people. I enjoy making see people smile. I don't know if they're at the end of their day or if they're at the beginning. Whatever it may be, I just want to come in. If I've sit there for a reason, I always want to find out what's my purpose there for. Either to make them smile, either to get them ready to prepare for wherever they're going to go, or however it may be, I'm just honored to be able to come into their home. I take nothing for granted. So, and with this and doing it in this, so I decided, it came in my heart about, about four or five years, I was thinking I was going to open a six bed facility. But I heard in my spirit that, no, you're going to open up a home care agency. And I had calls after calls after calls. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm only one person. And they say, from care, I heard home care agency. I said, oh, okay. Not knowing how to do it from the beginning, not knowing what I'm doing. But I just start seeking and then everything just start rolling toward me. And people start coming toward me. And um, the SBA down there and Access Plus, I got with them. And they wrote out my grant. They did everything for me. And they came together. And... I met a nice gentleman. I was referred to my insurance guy right here, and he'd been with me for three years. Yes, no, yes, no. We were like, it's time, it's not time, it's time, it's not time. But he's stuck in there with me, and now it's time. So, um, however, that's what I've been doing, and I'm so excited about it. I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do, and I plan to make an impact not just on the people, but Modesto as a whole, because we need the love right now. Love is needed more than anything. And what makes my agency different from anything else, they will feel the genuine love that we have, that we carry, that we will give to each one. All right. So it's important. She's specifically a non-medical treatment, so it's all hands-on compassion, um, companionship. See what else did you touch on? Personal care, respite care. She said, we'll do it all, we're gonna sit beside them. So yes. that really says everything. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Good. So we're really happy to be here with you. Thank you guys. So appreciate it. We have a couple others that would like to come up and congratulate you. Okay. So congratulate Rochelle on her ribbon cutting with the Modesto Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for sharing about your journey. Thank you for sharing about what drives you. I can tell that your patients are going to be in excellent hands. And thank you for bringing these services to the city of Modesto. On behalf of the United States House of Representatives, I'd like to present you with a certificate of congressional recognition from Congressman Josh Carter. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the 
sending my best so uh, I want to offer you, um, you know, congratulations on opening your business and, um, you know, it's a, a business that's really needed and it will probably grow because more and more people are surviving uh, and more and more people are staying at home. And it's, you know, it's uh, the best place to be if you can be. And so you offer a, uh, uh, a service that's really, really needed and we want to thank you for, uh, you know, uh, opening it in the best store and uh, I know you have good success and so here's our certificate. <laughs> 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 I think anyone that knows you would never feel sorry for you. <laughs> we all know you will set that straight really quick. <laughs> okay, so uh, Bill, I would like you to join us, please. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Bill Robinson on the board with the Modesto Chamber, and I just wanted to get out here and participate today in celebration of you and your business. Um, it really means a lot to us as a Chamber of Commerce when we have local business raise their hand and say, we want to engage the community, not just through the, the clients that we serve, but in a business-to-business -business and building relationships and building yourself out that way. Um, it doesn't surprise me that you're a member now um, because I can see that that is just intuitively what we do. We've not met prior to today, and I'm honored to meet you today. Likewise. And it was amazing to just walk into even close to your business and have you come up and introduce yourself. It tells me the kind of engaged professional business owner that you are. And so we enjoy coming out and celebrating with our new members, celebrating your future successes, and acknowledging the work that you do in our community through the clients that you serve. Right? Um, your, your passion and service are the show. And it's very, very apparent. So I wanted to personally share that with you. Okay? Um, so on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, we do have the Certificate of Recognition uh, for Lift a Hand Home Care Agency that is in honor and celebration of your dedication to the Modesto community as I've shared. And uh, in here, in recognition of your contributions to the economic growth and development in Modesto and best wishes for continued success. Michelle, when I got here, uh, listening to her story really touched my heart, uh, sort of on the reverse direction, but my grandmother, from a very early adult age, in her early 20s, the way she found to um, give from her heart and fulfill her purpose and take care of her family was to do home care. And so she took care of people in her home her entire adult life. I remember uh, a couple different individuals. She had a men's room and a women's room, and she had individuals up until about 106 and 108. Oh, wow. And so knowing people that have to just care for people and do it from the heart mm -hmm. just to make a difference and, and care for them and have them feel that kind of love and security, I completely appreciate and appreciate that in you and bringing that here to our community. She's only had her doors open here in brick and mortar for under two months. Under two months. Under two months. Wow. So it's a big step to go into a formal office. And so that's business right there. <laughs> She's good. Okay. So with that, I would like to welcome you and congratulate you into the Modesto Chamber of Commerce family. We're really proud to have you with our members. Thank you so much. Yeah. Come on, would you be 
I know, I tell them who I Who did you talk to? Your eyes on the camera, everybody. Okay, and uh, 